Hello everybody, welcome to a really random tutorial, but I think it could help some people. This is basically how to find, how to find, and download custom content. So when I very first started doing, like, getting into custom content, I didn't know where to find it, and I didn't know how to use Tumblr to find it through Tumblr, so I thought, like, maybe I'll do a video about it, and if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, go check out the rest of my channel, check out that promo. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so... First of all, you kind of have to decide if you want to have alpha custom content or Maxis Match custom content. So, basically, Maxis Match it looks like it belongs in the game, like it's made to look very, I guess, exactly like the stuff looks in the game. And then alpha is very realistic custom content. So just decide which one of those you want, and that kind of does depend on where you'll go and what you'll search for. So I like Maxis Match, so that's what we're going to look at first. So if you're looking for Maxis Match custom content, people have Tumblr pages dedicated to finding Maxis Match. So one really good one is Little Simsies one. And basically, I'm just going to go to the home page. So this is what the page looks like, which to me is very confusing. So, you know, like you can scroll down and this is all the stuff that is on her page but she's got this really good little feature if you come over here and I'm going to link this particular tumblr down below for you so it'll be super easy but basically if you come down here click for links and you go here to navigate then you have all of these options and you can just filter things out and it makes it a lot easier so if you want Max's match custom content check out this tumblr and then obviously from this navigation part we can go um, i'm actually looking for some eyes so i'm going to click here and go eyes and then it opens up this new page here and these are like all the eyes like that perfect so that is one place that you can find custom content now the next place is just plain old tumblr so this here is tumblr so if you were to you know go onto tumblr and you're like well what do i do now there is a search option up here and what you <laughs> look at mine <laughs> superman supergirl batman comics <laughs> wow that's that's just me <laughs> anyway so what you want to do is you want to do um Oh, I'm just trying to think of like some searches that you can do. So you either want to do like Sims 4, TS4, oop, that's TS4, um, MM for Maxis Match. So let's just go Sims 4 MM custom content. So just do search something like that. Right, and then it brings up this particular page here. Now, once again, this looks really kind of confusing. But basically, these top ones up here are tumblers that are related to your search so all these people here probably have maxis match finds on their tumblr or like they have custom content finds on their tumblr etc so if we wanted to we can like go all right let's go to galaxy simmer and i'm pressing control click so it it'll open it over here first so and then we can kind of have a look this is like a preview of her page and we can be like oh okay yeah like She's got all this cool stuff on here as well. I might want to check out her Tumblr. So then if we just go up here, I went control click so it opens it in a new link. And then here is her Tumblr. Cool. All right. And then on her Tumblr, we have like a navigation thing up here. So we have CC finds, which means the stuff that she has found. And then downloads is probably the CC that she has made. So if I click on like downloads, it's going to bring me, I come down here and I'm like, okay, here's, that's something that she's downloaded. If I go CC finds, sometimes it opens a new page. Tumblr is weird, guys. <laughs> okay, so here we go. These are all the stuff that she has found. And, you know, we can scroll down and download these things here. Now, don't worry, I'm going to show you actually how to download it in a minute. I'm just at the moment showing you how to find it. So we'll leave this one open. Um, okay, so that's one way. So then if we come back to this search page here, these are actually like um, search results, I suppose. So these are tumblers. These are like pages or like, I don't know how to explain it, but like you have your Tumblr website and then you like reblog stuff. So these are things that have been reblogged up here. So as an example, I really like this shirt. So if I I were to click on this image it's just going to make the image bigger what you want to do is you want to come down here to these details so if you like this shirt you need to come down here 
don't click on the picture it'll make the picture bigger um, we can click up here if we want to control click up there and that's going to open up this person's um, tumblr and then that's the post or we can just come down to here and go download straight from there so that's like the two i hope this makes sense guys it is confusing so basically we can go okay i only want that shirt i'm just going to hit download or actually i want to check out this person's tumblr click on that all right that's done so that's kind of tumblr for you confusing weird totally get it all right now that's all um maxis match stuff if you want to download alpha custom content i would suggest going to a place called the sims resource um it's a very ad heavy website like it's a bit of a hot mess looking at it but this is like where people get most of their alpha custom content from now i don't use alpha custom content so you know that's just me but this website's pretty good um it's kind of a pain to download from as i said but there's heaps of stuff on there so that's one place for alpha custom content um now i'm just opening up a tumblr here so if you want to do alpha custom content just do something like sims for al i think it's how you spell alpha alpha okay alpha cc or alpha custom content something along those lines and then once again it's just going to bring up this page again and then here we can see oh okay cool you know i want to download I want to check out this person's Tumblr, so I'm going to click there, or I want to download this particular hair, so it says info and download at my website, so that's where it would click. So that's basically how to find custom content. Um, so really the main places to find it are Tumblr and The Sims Resource, and then there's also another website called Mod The Sims, and you can get custom content on there as well. So might just show you how to download it from there um this one i don't actually ever come on to this particular website but it's sort of the same thing like sims for like eyebrows click on that and then we can download it there so let's get into some downloading of custom content so by the way guys i'm going to link some really good tumblr websites down below for you so i'm going to do little simsy another really good one is lana's cc finds and then another good one's mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried so hard. <laughs> you can check out my Tumblr if you want. You don't have to though. Anyway, let's just get to downloading. All right, so if you look here, um, I want to download some eyes. Now, I just want to say something actually really kind of important. So if you want to download eyes, you have the option of getting non-default eyes or default eyes. So anything that you download that's custom content, if it says default, it means that it is going to be the default that your game uses. So basically, if I said default eyes, all of my eyes are going to be this these custom content eyes. It doesn't you're not going to be able to select to have the normal, like, standard EA Sims 4 eyes. It's just going to be these eyes. And I personally don't want that. So I'm going to go for the non-default version. So I want these media eyes. They're really pretty. So if I went, like, eyes, non-default, and then we look down here. So you just kind of have to read here and make sure you're getting the right stuff. So this here, it says non-defaults. And usually I like using Sim File Share. So... This is where you download it from. So I once again, I always control click because I like having everything open in different windows. So we can just go sim file share, boom. Okay. And then if you read down here, it says like if you prefer default eyes, you can download them here. So it's a good thing just to kind of give this a quick read through because there is often like relevant information. All right. So downloading these eyes. So we can go sim file share and download. And then it'll come down here and it'll download and yeah so i would suggest downloading all your custom content first and then we'll go into the next step so i'm just going to download say one more thing or a couple more things so that page is done with we can get rid of that um and let's download a skin so i'm just going to go back here to the navigation and we're going to go to skin overlays and once again, you can get default or non-default skin overlays. So basically, once again, if it's a non-default, it means that you can go into skins and you can pick to either have it or not have it. If it is a default, it is just a skin that your sins are going to have. 
So personally, I don't like default skins. I like non-default. Just kind of keep that in mind. So just say we want to download a skin. Um, where is it? Let's just download this one just because I'm showing you what to do. So download. And then it'll bring you to the sim file share page. And we just hit download. Done. All right, perfect. So let's download something from The Sims resource because there is also a skin on here that I want. <laughs> so basically with The Sims resource, um, you can come up here to downloads and then you can use all of these filters here. And then there should also somewhere be a search box. Mm, this website is a little buggy, but let's just go up here, downloads. And I want skins, skin tones maybe. Let's see. All right. And then we can use these filters and stuff. So if you go here to filters, you can go like um, release date, you know, today, this week, yada, yada, yada. Or we can like sort by the amount of downloads, which I usually like doing because it shows the ones that were downloaded the most. So if we just go show results and you can see all these ad guys, like it's crazy website. You can get this VIP membership and I've used it before and I think it's pretty good, but I have heard some people having problems with it. So if you do want to do this VIP membership, do it at your own risk. Um, yeah. So here's like skin tones and skins and everything. So this Miss Blue, this is the artist name. She, she does really good skins and everything. So I'm going to download this one here. So I'm going to click on that to download it. And then it'll bring me to this page and all the ads. <laughs> okay, so to download this, we need to click here on download. Then it comes to here and it will give you this, like, you have to wait 10 seconds because we don't have the VIP membership. Um, and then we have a million and one ads. I think people use ad block a lot when they come to this website, but I, I don't have ad block. I just put up with it, me personally. And then it'll say thank you for downloading. And then just make sure it'll come down here and download. So that's another one. That's a skin. So that's that one. Now mod the Sims. All right, let's download these eyebrows. So as I said, I don't use this one often. There would be a search bar somewhere, which I can't seem to find. But anyway. When you're downloading things from Mod The Sims, there's this little kind of toolbar up here and you want to come to the tool here, the files, and then these are the download files here and you just click on that and then that'll just download. Um, when people put custom content up, sometimes it'll be like a direct download like that one was and then other times it will refer you to another page. Usually it's called um, Sim File Share. Sometimes it'll be Dropbox or Mediafire and sometimes it'll run you through like some ads and that's just so that they can make money from their custom content, which is fair enough. I mean, they're doing this for us out of their spare time. So anyway, guys. All right. So let's download. I'm just having a look. Um, I don't need any custom content. I have more than enough already, but I want to find something. Um, okay, here we go. So this one here, I actually already have this sweater, but I just want to show you. You'll notice down here, it says you need the mesh. So basically this here is just a recolor, but if you don't have the mesh, the recolor won't work. So just think of it like you need the top for it to be recolored. So when you see something like this, always make sure you have the mesh. So check down here. So it says you need the mesh. So we need to go, all right, let's get the mesh. So this here is the original top, which it looks totally different to the recolor, but it's like, this is what we need. So we would download this mesh. And then once that's downloaded, we can then download like the recolors for it and everything. So Yep, that is that one, and alright guys, so I think that you kind of hopefully get the gist of all that, so I'm going to just quit out of here, and then the next thing we're going to do is come down to like our downloads, and here are all of our downloads, alright, so you will notice that some of them are like this, some are like that, some are like that, and I actually don't need that one, I'm delete that. All right, so what you're going to need is a program called WinRAR. I have linked that down below. Um, if you want to know how to download WinRAR, I'm just going to put that at the very end of the video for you. Um, it's really easy. You just click on the link, download it. But if you need help, just wait to the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that. But basically, you need to get WinRAR because these 
package, sorry, not package files. We need all of these files to be package files like this one here and this one here. So you need it to be dot package. If it's not dot package, you need to use WinRAR to extract the package file. So basically this is like a condensed version so it's easier to download. So once you have WinRAR downloaded, you just wanna right click and just go extract here. So it's gonna extract everything. And then as you can see down here, it's now a package file. So you can delete that all together, boom. And then just do these other ones. And you can like highlight them and do them all at once and just go like extract here. Then it's gonna extract all that stuff and delete. Now what you'll notice is sometimes what they do is they put these like, this is just like a preview picture. So you don't need that at all. The only files that we want are package files. All the other stuff you can just get rid of. Um, I already have, I'm deleting here the stuff that I already have because I'm not going to put it into my game again. So I need that. I don't need that. Okay. Need that, uh, skin. And then this one here still, um, extract here. It just looks different than the other ones did for some reason. I don't know. And then these are the, oh yeah, non-default skins. All right. So here we have all of our files and this is the perfect, this is the format that we need to put them into the game. So pop that aside there, and then we need to just open up another, I don't know, file explorer thing. So open up the documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, custom, no, no, mods, mods, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you want to put everything into this mods file folder. Now the first thing you need to make sure is that you have this resource.cfg file. No idea what it does, but if you don't have that in there, it's not going to work. So that will be automatically in the folder. Like it, it, that comes with the game. Never touch it, never delete it, just leave it there, let it do its thing. Now I have chosen to like basically put everything into categories. You can just like put all the stuff just straight in there and don't worry about the categories, but I think it's easier to have categories. So basically what you need, just need to do is move all of this into here. So as I said, I have categories, so I'm going to do like my skins go in the skins folder. <laughs> um, the, oh, I don't want them. Um, I uh, do want that skin, so I'll pop that one into skins, and then this one is a top, so pop that into tops, and then um, eyes, I have eyes and lashes, so I'll pop that in there. Alright guys, so that is that. Now the last thing you need to do is open up your game. Okay guys, so here we are at the home screen. Now you'll notice that this thing here pops up and this is basically all the mods and custom content that you have downloaded into your game. I have too much as you can see. That's fine, just click. Now basically when you go into your game, your custom content will show up. But I just wanna show you this one thing. You need to just make sure that you have options. And if we go to game options and then we go to other. So. We need to make sure we have enable custom content and mods clicked and script mods allowed clicked. So just make sure that they're selected. If those two aren't selected, the um, mods won't actually show up in your game. And just very important, every time your game updates, so every time a new patch is released, the game will automatically get, like basically automatically untick these options. So you just need to go back in and reselect them every time a game patch comes out and then just another important point every time a game patch comes out there is a risk that your custom contents and mod your custom contents you know what i mean your custom content and mods might um become outdated and not work anymore that's why the game automatically turns them off every time there's a patch so if something's not working after a, an update um you might have to just you know not have your mods for a little bit or whatever but yeah just just psa now I'm just going to exit the game and I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to download that WinRAR because I know that I have had some people in the past ask me how to do it. So you basically, I'm going to put this link down below. So just click on the link and it's going to bring you to this page here, which looks very confusing, but there are only two things on this whole page that we need to actually pay attention to, which is this one here and this one here. So if you have a 32-bit computer, you need to click the top one, 64-bit 
click the bottom one and I am sorry I have no idea how to tell if you have a 64 or 32-bit computer. I think most people would have 64-bit but don't quote me on that. I don't know and I don't know how to find out. Sorry. But basically whichever one you have just click. It's going to automatic. Right, so once that's downloaded, you just want to come in here to your downloads, double click. Now I can't actually install this because I've already got it installed, but you want to double click and click yes. And then it's going to take you through the installation process. And that is how you download the WinRAR. So yeah, as I said, I can't show you how to do it because I've already got it downloaded and that installed, whatever. So it's going to stuff things up. So yeah, that's it guys, basically how to find the custom content, how to download it, how to extract it, how to put it into your game and how to download and install WinRAR. I hope this helped so much. Um, yeah, I hope to see you in another one of my videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching. and I really, really hope that it helped. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I always try and get back to people and help as much as possible. And if I can't help you, I'm still going to respond and hopefully be able to point you in the right direction. So yeah, thank you so much, guys, and have a lovely day.